So welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K18 and in today's video going to be rebuilding the Indiana Pacers. Now obviously the Pacers made one of the biggest moves in the offseason in trading Paul George over to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, obviously they had to move on from him saying that he wasn't re-signing with the Pacers, him saying he really just didn't want to be in Indiana anymore. Obviously it killed his trade value, kind of totally screwed that franchise over, but you know what, he gave them a lot, so you know what, I think it was time for him to move on anyways, so... New team, new look. Uh, Miles Turner is the future of this team at this point in time. Um, I definitely do not plan on letting him go anywhere. I plan on him either being my power forward, my center, really, whatever one works for me. The rest of this team, though, is kind of iffy. Obviously, I picked up Victor Oladipo in that trade with the Thunder. Yeah, he's just not my future shooting guard. I mean, he's 25. He's making $21 million a year. Just, yeah, just no thank you. Uh, they did sign Darren Collison this offseason. Is it only one year? Does he have any sort of team option or anything? Um, it has a team option for $10 million. I'm not going to accept it, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and trade him now. Bohan Bogdanovich signed over. I believe he was on the Wizards before this. Was he on the Wizards? I believe he was. He was on the Wizards. Oh, and he got traded to the Wizards. He was on Brooklyn, too. Uh, Thad Young, I believe they traded for two off seasons ago or something. Uh, they signed Lance. I know he came back late in the season. The rest of this team is just kind of iffy. They also uh, picked up DeMontis Sabonis in the trade with the Thunder. I doubt he's ever going to really be anything. This team is just kind of bad in general. So, Miles Turner, pretty much the only untouchable on this team, uh, I can definitely say. So, right now, let's just see what the trade market is for Victor Oladipo. Because I definitely want to move on from him. Um, he might progress a little bit, but he's probably not going to progress enough where his trade value is going to go sky high. And two and a half stars right now for him is not terrible. So, Chris Middleton's here. Whiteside's here. I'm, le I'm leaving Whiteside off limits for quite or for a few videos anyways. Um, Evan Fournier and Alfred Payton's not terrible. Manuel Moutier is here. Okay, that's not bad. Um, Kelly Oubre. I might take Chris Middleton, I think. I think I'm going to take that deal. Or John Collins is here. It's nice and young and it's a power forward. Do I take John Collins? Or do I take Chris Middleton? You know what? I think I'm going to take Chris Middleton just because I think Chris Middleton's trade value will be higher. Um, so Chris Middleton, now obviously going to be on this team for at least this year, um, is on a two-year contract, so I probably will trade him in the offseason. Darren Collison, I didn't realize he was 30. Jesus Christ, I thought he was younger than that. Um, I don't mind keeping him for this year. I know I just said I wanted to trade him, but honestly, I'll, I'll probably bring him back and then trade him in the offseason on that team option if I can't get anything good for him right now. So let's just see what offers I get for him. $10 million. I don't know why like they signed all these players like the one-in-one -one contracts, but it happened. Um, so if I'm going to... Ooh, Pat Beverly. I really like Patrick Beverly, and he's a nice team option. I think I'm going to trade for Patrick Beverly. Yeah, Patrick Beverly, welcome to the team. That's a great trade for him. Um, also in that trade, who else are we picking up? We're picking up Willie Reed. Doesn't really matter. We give up a second round pick. Patrick Beverly, excuse me, obviously a great defensive point guard. So I might just leave this rotation the way it is for season number one. Uh, Del Vadova is also on this team. Can Del Vadova play any shooting guard? He can. I'm going to go ahead and change him to the backup shooting guard position. Uh, Matthew Del Vadova, shooting guard, goes up to 75. Works for me. Um, so this team, I mean, it's not good. We still have Miles Turner, who's going to be a stud for us, hopefully, in the future. And I'm just going to let him progress into what he's going to be. Uh, also, you, you guys told me not to mess with the scoring options because I think it forces their tendencies. Just going to leave the scoring options as it is. I'm not going to force anything at all. Uh, so I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. Hopefully, we can have a top five pick in the draft because this team is very, very bad. So James Harden walks away with the MVP award here at the end of season number one. Almost puts up or puts up almost 30 points a game, excuse me. Uh, seven and a half rebounds, eight and a half assists, one and a half steal, half a block. Lonzo wins rookie of the year. Rudy Gay, sixth man of the year in um, San Antonio. I was about to say Sacramento. Uh, defensive player of the year goes to Andre Drummond. Puts up a nice double-double. Jerry and Grant most improved on the bold. Mike D'Antoni, coach of the 64 and 18 Rockets, is your coach of the year. So on the year, we go 34 and 48. Honestly, wanted to do worse just so we would have a better pick in the draft, but 2K simulation is 2K simulation. You know what? It happens. They have the Knicks making the playoffs, and they have the 76ers as a two seed, and they have the Wizards as an eight seed. Sometimes stuff just doesn't make sense in life. Um, so player stats on the year, Miles Turner less in scoring. He had a good year, I'd say. Not a great year, a good year. Uh, 17 half points, 8 and a half rebounds. I'd like a few more rebounds, maybe like up to 20 points, but you know what? It happens. Um, Bogdanovich wasn't terrible. $10 million option, probably still going to decline it. Maybe I will bring him back, though. Uh, Chris Middleton wasn't terrible at all. I mean, he's also a very good defender. What did he shoot from three? Um, Three-point percentage. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty good. 40%, almost 39%. 
Um, so Thad Young probably trading in the offseason. I forgot Al Jefferson was even on this team. Pat Beverly is just on here for his defense pretty much. So let's go ahead and simulate the playoffs right now. Um, probably going to be Warriors and Spurs. Or Warriors and Spurs, you idiot. Warriors and Cavs. Uh, the Wizards take the Cavs seven games, but... Oh, wow. Okay, so 76ers and the Warriors. Yeah, because that's going to happen. The Warriors are going to win the finals. Kevin Durant, your finals MVP. So, heading into this offseason, my main goal really is to stay young. I want to keep the young core of this team. It doesn't mean I'm not going to like Paul George and Kevin Durant are off limits in this video from signing. That's a statement. They're not going to be signed. I know it gets repetitive. I'm also not trading for Hassan Whiteside no matter what. But I might, I have a free agent in mind that I might sign that is kind of old, which I might trade for young players. So, if you guys are thinking of that, I'm sure you might be able to think of who it is, but let's go up to staff signing right now. Um, let's just see. Uh, Nate McMillan has terrible ratings, so let's go ahead and just bring in Trent Peterson because he's literally the easiest coach in the world to sign. And I'm not wasting time. Sp uh, I'm not spending time signing a coach, so, or not wasting more time than necessary to sign a coach. So let's see how the draft lottery treated us. Let's see what pick we ended up getting. Hopefully, it's top five. It's the ninth pick. Okay, that sucks. Uh, what could I get for Middleton and nine? Mike Connolly's here. The fifth overall pick in Dennis Schroeder. That's not bad. Kemba's there. Seventh overall pick in Fournier. Um, no, thank you. Drummond, Eric Gordon. Okay. What I'm going to do is I think I can move it more. Honestly, wait. I can probably trade Middleton anyways. Can I trade Middleton for like a top 10 pick? I can trade for the eighth overall pick. Like that's not even that bad. Like white side's off limits. Um, Jared Allen's not bad. Drummond straight up. Ooh. Maybe. Oh. Do I do this and then maybe move Turner to the four? Ooh, I'm definitely considering it. Definitely, definitely considering it. Uh, Zach Collins is there. Do I do I want the eighth pick or Andre Drummond? You know, I doubt I'm going to get anybody better than Andre Drummond in the draft. We'll still have cap base. So Andre Drummond, welcome to the team. Going to go ahead and move Miles Turner to the four. Uh, definitely do. This is going to be a nice ass front court. Don't get me wrong. So team is looking very very good look at this nice front court it's still keeping the team nice and young uh andre drummond only being 24 years old so this is actually very very good for me um so right now let's see delva dova is gonna go just because he's making too much money for me um so semi ojale is not bad and abdul nader um but billy hernan gomez isn't a bad backup center yeah billy hernan gomez pretty good backup center not bringing back al jefferson so this team's looking actually much more solid than it definitely like was like just even a little while ago. TJ Leafs here was he a first round pick? Yeah, he was the 18th overall pick. He's at a yeah he's I forgot he was teammates with Lonzo at UCLA. I forgot they even drafted him honestly. So ninth overall pick right now. I bet I can move up a little bit. So who has the eighth overall pick? Uh, so nine. Who is eight? Eight is the Bulls. What is it going to take? They want a first for Robin Lopez. That's just not going to happen. Ugh, second. Okay, you know what? Actually, better idea. If I give you nine, a second, and where is he? TJ Leaf. Two-star trade value. Can I move up to like four with the Grizzlies? Is this too much? Yeah, that's too much. Okay, how about five? Five. The Hawks. Cool. So we now have the fifth overall pick. Um, I'd like to move up just a tad bit more. So I'm either like I don't need I don't need Marvin Bagley. Michael Porter Jr. would be very, very nice, but I doubt I can move up to one. So maybe Luka Doncic. Maybe Luka Doncic. He would be overseas for a year probably unless they patch that, which they honestly might have. So can I move up to three? Who just has the third overall pick? What's it going to take for the third overall pick? I'd be willing to give up a future first. <sighs> Do I give up Hernan Gomez or a future first? Um, You know what? I am going to give up Hernan Gomez because a i get him a lot and b i can sign a backup center in free agency it's not that hard so as well like i would rather give up somebody i can replace very easily than giving up a future asset in a first round pick so we now have the third overall pick um I'm either taking i'll take one of the top three i'm either taking Doncic, porter or bagley and i'll probably end up trading bagley for something else so i'll see you guys at rookie signings who i drafted third overall so with the third overall pick i did go ahead and draft luka Doncic. um I don't know. At the beginning, when I had used this draft class, they had him overseas for a year. I guess that's just not a thing anymore. So he's probably going to be starting a shooting guard for us next year. Uh, maybe small forward. We also drafted Lamar Peters with the 20th pick. I forgot we got that extra pick from the Cavs. Um, and a Mississippi State. I'm pretty sure this is a real person. I feel like I've heard of him before. Um, point guard. I'll go ahead and sign him. Uh, probably send him to the D-League. I know players progress a lot when you send him to the D-League. So... Patrick Beverly's coming back because honestly he's probably going to start a shooting guard if we or point guard excuse me if we can't get an upgrade. Bogdanovich is just it's not worth my time to, like, accepting his option and then going ahead and trading him for honestly probably like two second round picks. So 
Uh, Thad Young accepts him to trade him. Same with Corey Joseph. Al Jefferson, I'm not going to accept the bonus. I'll bring back Joseph Young. Honestly, isn't terrible, but no thank you. And EK and Abogu. Um, second round pick. Whatever. It really doesn't matter. So, let's go ahead and look at free agency right here. I do still have somebody in mind qualifying offers we have none. Uh, how much cap space do we have, actually? Probably not much right now. Yeah, we have $8 million, but I am going to trade Thad Young, Corey Joseph. Um, so let's just see what I can get for them right now. Let's see. Can I just get some picks? So first of all, Thad Young, who honestly wouldn't be a terrible backup power forward if he wasn't making $13 million, but he is. So got to explore the market for him. Uh, does have two-star trade value. Maybe I could get somebody cheaper, like Torian Prince isn't bad, and a first-round pick, but we, don't, we would have to give up Lamar Peters, who we did just draft. But I think it's probably worth it. Zubach is there. First round pick and just one first round pick. Ooh, two first round picks. Yeah, I think I got to take two first round picks. We are kind of low on first round picks. So two first round picks honestly isn't terrible. And then Corey Joseph right here. What could I get for him? Just $8 million. Don't even want you, honestly. So, ooh, backup power forward. Ferdinand Cor or not power forward. Small forward. Ferdinand Korkmaz. Uh, Gershon Yabuselli, but I'm not giving up a first. Papianis is here, but another first from the Mavericks I'm probably just going to take because the Mavericks honestly probably aren't going to be good in 2020 anyways. So this team right now, let's just look at it right now. So currently Patrick Beverly is my starting point guard, which I don't mind. I might honestly try to trade him because he's in the last year of his deal. And then Luka Doncic, I do want starting at shooting guard. Small forward, we do not have. Miles Turner is our power forward, and Andre Drummond is our center. So cap space-wise right now, we're working with $30 million. Uh, probably a little bit more after we renounce the rights on some players. And the guy I do want to sign... Um, is here. It's Carmelo Anthony. We're being honest. Um, we have okay. So he does have no offers. So how about I give you that in a player option, and we get Melo. But I do have to renounce the rights on all these guys. Renounce all the rights. It's happening. Carm oh, we still have thirty-two million dollars. Could I pick up Isaiah? Oh my dude! If I can pick up Isaiah right now. This is game changing. He has no offers, so I'll just give you this. Yo, we just picked up Isaiah to Oh my dude, that's actually hype. That's actually hype. Look at this team now. Look at this. So Isaiah's gonna be our point guard. Doncic shooting guard. I'm probably gonna trade Melo for a better or younger starting shooting guard just because I kinda wanna keep this team young. Turner, power forward, Drummond at center. That that is just absolutely insane. That is absolutely insane. I forgot how much cap space we're gonna have as soon as we renounced all the rights. That's awesome. Uh, do we have a mid-level exception left? Um, can I go after somebody like Deadman's here, but I don't think we have enough for him. Uh, do we have bird rights on Bogdanovich? Can I bring him back? $9 million? Player option? Um, I don't know how I'd ever have rights on him. But okay, we bring back Bogdanovich. I don't know how that's possible, but it happened. Uh, JaVale McGee wouldn't honestly be a bad backup center option. Uh, you want to come here, JaVale? JaVale McGee, welcome to the team. That works for me. This team's actually looking so much better right now. And I'll see you guys at the start of season number two where I'm probably going to have a trade for Carmelo Anthony. So this kind of is the trade I had in mind as soon as I signed Carmelo Anthony or as soon as I thought I was going to sign Carmelo Anthony. I'm willing to give up quite a bit of assets for Andrew Wiggins. I do want to keep this team young, as I've said several times. Only 23. We did acquire a few first-round picks this offseason. They're not interested. I'm willing to give up as much as it takes. Honestly, I'll give up five first-round picks. I want Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins, welcome to this team. And now, this team is honestly set. This team is so good. Oh, God, I, I can't, like, I have nothing to say about this team. Like, it's this good. Uh, JaVale's 7 feet. The bonus is 6'10". I'm going to change the bonus to be the backup power forward. God, just what a team. What a team. Um, So, I know Beverly's contract's up at the end of the year. So, if I trade Patrick Beverly right now, could I get a decent backup point guard? Probably not to the level that Beverly's is. Brogdon? Wow. Okay. So I can get Malcolm Brogdon. Yeah, that's going to happen. JaVale McGee, sorry. Tough to see you go, but I'm sure there's somebody I can replace you with in free agency right now. Like Festus is Healy, literally. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and wave somebody. My worst player is Lamar Peters, but I don't really want to cut him. I kind of just want to wave Toledovic, but I don't want that cap hit. So any team want Mirza Toledovic um, for... Come on. Come on. Okay, can you keep Miles Plumley? Oh, oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's amazing. Um, so right now, Fess is Zeely. Welcome to the team. Seriously? Okay. Whatever. We're good. Oh my god, this team is amazing. This team is amazing. Um, wow, what a team. What a team. Um, Jake Lehman is not getting any minutes. 
Hate to break it to you, 2K. Um, so 30, 31 for Doncic. Um, 32. Actually, I'll give Doncic 33. And then I'm going to give 26 to Brogdon. So this team is so good. This team is so, so, so good. I'm um, not going to do scoring options. Just changing this to 9 man in case it's CPU re auto. Sets the rotation. So I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. Hopefully, we can be the best seed in the Easter Conference. Russell Westbrook, your MVP here at the end of season number two. 25 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 steals, half a block. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. does win Rookie of the Year for the Dallas Mavericks. Um, honestly, doesn't really matter to me. There's no way Doncic was going to win it with all the studs we have on our team. Uh, Zach Collins, sixth man of the year in Portland. Um, maybe they re-signed Nurkic and he's backing him up. Uh, Rudy Gobert, defensive player of the year. Deontay Murray, most improved. And Trent Peterson wins coach of the year because we do go 67-15. and 15. Um, I did re-sign Miles Turner in the season and before... Like, eight of you probably call me an idiot down below in the comment section. Yes, I didn't realize that Malcolm Brogdon is also a free agent this offseason, so I traded Patrick Beverly pretty much. It's going to be a similar situation. Basically, it's what the point I was trying to get at. But you know what? I saw Malcolm Brogdon. I kind of kind of freaked out. You know what? It happens. Uh, so 67 and 15 is not too shabby, I might say. I feel like it kind of went under the radar that we did sign Isaiah Thomas in the offseason. Uh, I feel like that just kind of happened. Um, oh, I forgot I traded them Hernan Gomez. He's actually starting over Tristan Thompson. Uh, so player stats in the air, Isaiah Thomas led us in scoring. I honestly, just because, I mean, I don't sign Isaiah too much, but just because I've like, kind of want to keep this team like really, really young. So I feel like I might trade him for like somebody really young this offseason. So we are going on to one more year, even if we do win a championship. Uh, Wiggins was great for us. Miles Turner was great for us. Doncic wasn't too bad. Drummond was great. Bogdanovich wasn't bad off the bench. I totally forgot we had him, too. Uh, rebounds was Drummond, Turner, and then Doncic, and assists was Thomas Doncic, and then Brogdon. All right. Eight-seeded draft is in the first round. Really shouldn't be too much of a challenge. We are way better than ever. pretty much every team in the East, maybe except for the Cavs, except the Cavs don't really have a starting. Honestly, oh, wait. Okay, never mind. They do have LeBron. I was, starting to, I was thinking back, like, did they not have LeBron? But, no, they do. Uh, we were tied at one with the 76ers. We go up 2-1. They tie it back up at 2-2. Two, 3-2 two. Two NBA Finals? Nope. We're going to Game 7. Game seven, we are here in Indiana. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God, we're blowing them out. We just beat them 101 to 60. They scored between the second and third quarter. They scored 16 points in two quarters. Wow. Wow. And we are taking on the San Antonio Spurs in the NBA Finals. Let's check out their team. Um, it is relatively the same thing. They have Thad Young, who traded. They signed Will Barton. But I, we can win. We can win this series. Uh, up 2-0. 2-1, 3-1, and 3-2. Come on. We win a championship in year number two. Luka Doncic is your finals MVP. Six games, 32 and a half minutes. Does put up 13 points, six rebounds, six assists. Uh, no, Pretty much no steals, half a block. He was a very well-rounded. Nothing like a w rookie winning rookie of the year. So Michael Porter Jr. can take his rookie of the year and stick it because Luka Doncic just won finals MVP. So that is amazing. Are going to go into one more year. Um, obviously, we don't have any picks. Like Not that it'd be, they'd be good anyways, but of course we did trade. Five of them for Andrew Wiggins. So some might say it's an overpay, but I say whatever gets you the results. And we won a championship, so I'm not too mad about that. Um, so team player options right here. Bogdanovich does accept his. So bonus I'm going to bring back. And EK and Abogu I'll bring back. Might as well. Just a bench piece. Um, I don't even mind having Bogdanovich. Malcolm Brogdon's going to get the qualifying. I'll give Kadeem Allen the qualifying uh, as well. I'll give Nawaba it and Jake Lehman can walk. I don't even know Jake Lehman was on this team. So, we are negative $30 million in cap space. It's just not going to happen. Uh, Mid-level exceptions are not a thing because the game, like, literally overpatched the hell out of it. And it's kind of annoying at this point. But it happens. Uh, how much is Patrick Beverly asking for? So, yeah, so we would have to pay him $20 million. How much is Brockton asking for? Um, all right, $17 million, But honestly, I'm willing to pay you it because you were so good for us. So, Malcolm Brogdon, welcome back to the team. Um, I'm probably going to bring back everybody else. Um... Is there anybody here that's, like, relatively good that's, like, older that would take a small contract? Like, TJ McConnell's not older, but he'd be a very, very good backup point guard. I'll move Brogdon to the backup shooting guard. Okay, he goes back to the 76ers, but I would... It's fine. Whatever, I can definitely get somebody else. Um, No way I can get Norman Powell. I can get Norman Powell. Dude. Norman Powell, come here. Norman Powell, welcome... Way to cuck me, Toronto. That sucks. Um, okay, not no no problem. How about Terry Rozier? How about Terry Rozier? Dude, Celtics won't trade him. Might as well go out and sign him. Dude seems like going to be a future MVP, I'm telling you. Terry Rozier, welcome to the team. Works for me. Probably going to change Brogdon back to a shooting guard where I believe he was 
thought of. Like, I thought he was a shooting guard. I believe he's just, like, adapting to play um, the backup one, or the starting one for the Bucks. But I very well could be wrong. Um, so I do kind of need a backup big. Most Spates is here. I wouldn't mind most Spates. Um, most Spates, welcome to the team, too. Um, so I'll see you guys at the start of season number three, where I'm possibly going to trade Isaiah Thomas. Okay, so I did just do the trade finder for Markel Fultz, and this was an option. Isaiah Thomas and a first-round pick for Markel Fultz and Joakim Noah. I mean, you would think Markel Fultz would be untouchable. I know Lonzo Ball is because I tried to trade for him, too. But Markel Fultz, for some reason, just is not never untouchable when I tried to trade for him. Like, this is the second or third time that I've done this, and he's just not untouchable. I don't – riddles me. I, I don't know. He's just not, so – I don't really care. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon is going to go back to the backup shooting guard role. And this team, man, this team is just so good. No. Whoa. Hold up. Pause. Okay. No. Wow. Doncic is still starting. He's still the... Okay. Wow. That got that escalated very, very quickly. Um, I'm going to go 10-man rotation because I do want to get Mo Spates some backup um, center minutes for us. Um, Brogdon is not starting. Good God. What the hell? Um... You can play no. You can play 30, uh, 31. You're gonna play thirty, and then no, not Nawaba. These are gonna go to most spates. So this team, unbelievable. Markel Fultz, Luka Doncic, Andrew Wiggins, Miles Turner, Andre Drummond off the bench. Malcolm Brogdon, Bohan Bogdanovich, Demontis Sabonis, Terry Rozier, and Mo Spates. So I'll see you guys at the end of season number three. Hopefully, we win our second championship in a row with our new point guard leading this team. Stephen Curry, your MVP here at the end of season number three. 31 and a half points, four and a half rebounds, eight and a half assists, two and a half steals. Definitely deserving. Uh, Bull Bull, rookie of the year for the Detroit Pistons. Looked like they got in their new franchise center after we did take Andre Drummond from them. Hamadou Diallo, six man of the year. Okay, I see you, Hamadou. Uh, DeAndre Jordan, defensive player of the year. I think this is actually the first time where I've had three different players win defensive player of the year and MVP. I will take. Way to spice it up a little bit, 2K. Uh, Terrence Jones, most improved. I've never seen that. Okay. Trent Peterson, second year coach in a row. Uh, coach of the year. Second year, he wins coach of the second year in a row. He wins coach of the year. Jesus, that should not have been so hard. 66-16, uh, six, six, quite the season. Quite the uh, quite the season. Uh, Ten games up in the second seeded box. Who do, did sign Patrick Beverly. Okay. This seems very, very good. Oh, we traded them Oladipo. I forgot for uh, Middleton. Damn, Wiggins led us in scoring, then Fultz. Nobody even scored close to 20 points. Okay. Uh, then Fultz, then Doncic, then Turner. But, Okay. Very well, wow, rel. Oh my God, I cannot speak. Re Very rel. Rel's not a word. Wait, what? Yes, it is. Rel. I can't speak right now. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't speak. Andre Drummond most uh, most rebounds on the team. Then Miles Turner, then Luka Doncic. Assist was Fult Doncic, then Brogdon. I don't know. I just have like an aneurysm. I don't even know why I couldn't speak there. Uh, taking on the Knicks in the first round. We win. Okay. Whoa. Okay. It took us six. Uh well-rounded team. That's what I was trying to say. Rel is not a word. Jesus Christ. Uh, here we go against the Cavs. Uh, okay, so we're going to take the Knicks and six and sweep the Cavs. I just showed you this Bucks team. They're very, very good. Honestly, I don't even know if we're better. <laughs> we're up 3-2. And oh boy, that was a scare. Here come the Warriors. Uh, they still have Kevin Durant. They almost never re-sign Kevin Durant, so I doubt they do. They don't. Why does Kevin Durant never re-sign with this team? Kevin Durant is on the Denver Nuggets. Okay. I don't know why Kevin Durant just never resigns with the Warriors. Whatever. We sweep the Warriors somehow. We still go to eight games with the Knicks. Andre Drummond's your finals MVP. Eight and a half points, 12 and a half rebounds, three or a third of an assist a game, one and a half steals, two blocks a game. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this Indiana Pacers rebuild. Uh, I do just want to make a quick statement that as much as I do love making these rebuilding videos, and don't get me wrong, I love them. It's what's grown my channel. It's what's boosted all you guys to come watch my videos pretty much every couple days. I do love making rebuilds, but at the end of the day, they do get repetitive. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to switch it up. I'm trying to get players that don't get too much. Uh, so hopefully you guys are enjoying that. But I'm not going to take a break from them. I think I might just slow them down. I think I might go into other kind of videos. I think I might just do some general NBA videos, maybe some Madden rebuilds. Just because 2K rebuilds, they get boring. They get repetitive, honestly. And at the end of the day, it's kind of the same formula I follow pretty much for every team. If the team's good... I don't make the team bad, and I sign better players. If the team's bad, I tank. I sign better players. I end up winning several championships. Like, I understand that they're probably enjoyable for you guys to watch, but at the end of the day, I'm not having as much fun making them as I was. And I know that sucks probably for you guys to hear because you guys love watching these, and I still do love making them. Don't get me wrong. 
But at the end of the day, I'm, I want to make videos that I enjoy. So maybe I'll do some talk about the NBA. If you don't know, I am partnered up with NBA Playmakers. So I do have total access to all sorts of NBA footage that I can post and just not get copyrighted. So maybe I'll do some videos on just the NBA. Maybe do some NBA talks. If you have any ideas about what you want me to talk about in the NBA, let me know. I can go on for hours talking about the NBA, but... Obviously, that's never going to happen in one video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know. I'm sorry if you guys do want to see Strictly Rebuilds. That's what my channel has always been. But you know what? Time to explore. Time to branch out and start some new things. So don't worry. These rebuilds are not going away. It might just be like two a week now instead of three or four. So don't worry. They're not going away. Uh, let me know if you any videos, ideas you want to see. Maybe just me talking about a certain player, a certain team, anything that's going on in the NBA right now. Uh, along if you want to see any Madden rebuilds, any rebuilds on MLB once the baseball season does come up in a couple months. I do love doing MLB rebuilds. So if you guys are still with me here at this part in the video, thank you guys so much. Uh, also, another little side note. I don't know if you guys watched my last video. If you didn't, uh, if you're looking at the thumbnail on this video, it's probably much shittier than the thumbnails in my most like past 15 videos. I had a thumbnail designer, but he got busy. He's in school. He's probably in high school like me. Honestly, I don't know that much about him, but he got busy. He had to cut down on his clients. So it sucks. I know. But if any of you guys know anybody uh, that is very good with Photoshop, I don't want you guys to be a scrub. If you're in Photoshop, like I can do scrubbiness. Like that's what my thumbnails are. They're scrub thumbnails, but it attracts viewers. So uh, if you guys know anybody that's good with Photoshop and can make thumbnails to the level that I had them before, please let me know. I'd be more than willing to pay. Like just like any sort of business. Uh, Direct them to my Twitter below. My DMs are always open, so feel free to shoot me any questions you have if you possibly have somebody like that. Uh, sorry for this little rant at the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are all set with me making a new kind of video soon. Hopefully you guys are on the lookout for those, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.